Well, the old garage is about cleaned up as much as I can clean it up. It's about ready for radio restoration work to begin and whatever other work needs to begin. There's a lot of it that needs to be done. There's my tunable loop antenna or what's left of it. I wasn't very satisfied with that thing. So I'm going to build me another one and use the square rods instead of these round dowel rods like this. Those things were oak and harder than blazes to drive a nail into. <laughs> so we'll build us another one here this spring and hopefully it'll work a lot better than what that thing did. I'm not a very well organized person. As you can see, there's just all kinds of this, that, and the other in the cabinets there. Uh, we'll soon have things up and going, though. I, I do know where everything's at. <laughs> it may not be organized, but it's organized enough for me to know where everything I need is. Well, there's my ancient old soldering iron. I got that. Well, my pappy got it, I guess, in about 1982 or so. It's an old Weller 8200. Still does the job, but I think I might get one of them soldering irons that stays on all the time because I get my hands get shaky if I have to wait too long for the thing to heat up. It makes a makes for a bad solder joint. There's, yeah, that figures. Stand it up. <laughs> oh, all kinds of tools in this old place. There's the shell of that old Coronado farm radio that I decided not to restore back a, about a year or two ago. And the only reason that I didn't is because I just don't care for farm radios. The, don't want to build a battery eliminator. And besides, I can, I, I take this old veneer here and use it in place of, take pieces of it and use it from where other veneers are needed. Now, you may wonder why these benches look so tall. Well, to me, they're not very tall. But, the problem is, is that I'm kind of on the, on the tall side myself. As you can see here, I can go over here. This is why I build benches to my height. That is not my car. There's the vehicle I drive, and that's only because my legs will fit inside the thing. The old backyard has had a hard winter. Limbs down everywhere. I need to get out and get picked up so I can mow here this spring. The neighbors over yonder like to pile the trash up behind their house. The problem with that is, is that when the wind blows, it blows it over here. And I'm constantly picking their trash up out of my yard. I'm really kind of tired of it. Spring is 
just around the corner and the naked ladies there have already begun to come up back here by the old clothesline poles. I have picked up branches and cut down branches and cut down bushes and everything else back last fall. I think it's just about seasoned enough to burn this doggone pile off with now. As you can see, Canton, Indiana, such as it is, is not a very large place. We're, I always tell people we've got about 25 people living around here. About another 20 dogs, two cats, and down the hill over yonder, about 500 head of cattle. <laughs> sure why uh, well, what do you know more of the trash in our yard limbs down everywhere and of course there he is wanting to play like always <laughs> hey buddy hey buddy Hey, calm down. Calm down now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're a good boy, ain't you? You a good boy. Yeah. It's a shame they have to leave you on the chain all the time, I tell you. They do let you off once in a while, though, don't they? You're a pretty good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good old boy, Hooch. I gotta head on now, okay? <laughs> Back last summer, the old port swing, which I think at one time was originally a park bench and converted into a port swing, needed to be redone. And Mama wanted the thing white and turquoise. And I painted it up white and turquoise. And then she wanted flowers on it. So now we have this. I need to get some new chains for the thing. To them old log chains, I got it hanging on now. But I'll do that this spring. There's another project. This old deck up here is covered in bird seed. But. Is also now I know this deck really looks like a damn mess oh black on the wood and everything but that wood is not anywhere near rotted you can't drive a nail in it it's as solid as I don't know what you can't hardly drive a screw into it with it and get it all the way down I've got to restore that bench next there's my peanut camera shy. <laughs> used to have two dogs. Had a, had a basset hound, but she was about 10 years old, and she passed on here about a year and a half ago, and Peanut's still around with me.
Husky. Pretty good old dog. A little on the overweight side. But she refuses to eat dog food. Absolutely refuses. About the only food she'll eat is people food. And for treats, about the only treat that she'll eat is either a piece of rawhide or a piece of beef jerky. And here's another one of the neighbor's dogs. This one's from across the street. This is Lily. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily dog. She's a pretty good old girl, too. Always wanted her ear and scratch. <laughs> well, that's about it for this video of cat life in Canton, Indiana. I'll put up some more radio vids in the very near future as I get ready to start restoration work. Here's a little bit better view of Canton. They paved our road for the first time last year since Bill Clinton's first term in office. You, which means that you can tell it doesn't happen very often. You've just seen about all of downtown Canton. <laughs> Such as it is. Well, this is Gary signing off.